Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of iTalk Tech. My name is Tamer, and today I'll be giving you my first look and first opinions, rather, on the newly released Amazon Fire Phone. Let's get started. All right, to get started, we're just gonna talk about what the phone has and what it does. So we'll just talk about the design overall. So this is a, it looks very thin. It looks it's made out of rubber material. It's got a 4.7 inch um, HD screen. It's Amazon's not tied in the resolution or the pixel per inch. And so we don't know if it's a 1920 or um, by 1080 a 1080p or a 720p screen. We just don't know. They're just saying um, it's just going to be an HD screen. We'll find out sooner or later what the actual resolution of it is. The phone is great in bright situations, so there's not a lot of glare. It has like 560 nits, whatever that is. Um, all right, so moving on um, to the internal core, internal specs, which is the more funner part for me. So it's got a 2.2 gigahertz quad core Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 chip. Yeah, a lot of words. Um, it's also got an Adreno 330 graphics chip, and as well as two, two gigabytes of RAM. And we don't know anything about the battery yet, so we don't know anything about battery life. So these specs are top of the line, but they're not gonna make it. It's just not gonna make it. It's too low end of a spec to compete with a high end spec. I, I'm saying it's a completely specked out phone, but to compete with the iPhone 5, uh, 5S, the Galaxy S5, the HTC One M8, it can compete with the iPhone 5S, but the iPhone 6 coming out pretty soon, it's just not going to take it. The Galaxy S5 and HTC One M8 have quad core um, Snapdragon 801 chips, and they're just more processor handling. In order to compete, they need to have those top of the line specs. Sure, it will be fast, sure, but it's just when people look at one of their buy phones, they want to know which one's on top of which. I mean, in terms of spec wise, the Galaxy S5 and HTC One M8, they're ranked higher than the Amazon phone. So, why would somebody go and buy an Amazon phone? for the same price that they can get a Galaxy S5 with. I mean, I see this phone as a competitor to the Nexus 5 because it's got specs similar to it, but the prices are just way different. I mean, the Nexus 5 also has a um, quad-core um, Snapdragon 800 chip. It's got two gigabytes of RAM. It's got Adreno 330 chip in there. It's got an eight megapixel camera. The Fire Phone has got a 13 megapixel camera, so that is going to be a little better quality, but it's all about the camera sensor, not the actual megapixel. Megapixel just means size, so we really don't know how this camera is going to perform. In the little video that they were showing us, they compared the Galaxy S5 versus the Fire Phone versus the HTC One M8 with a sample photo, and it looked pretty decent. So it, was, it looked like a good camera, but it's, the camera is not going to break the bank for people to go out there and buy a Fire Phone when there's already Galaxy S5 and HTC One M8 HTC One M8 out there topping the smartphone rankings. It's just gonna take more. This is a Nexus 5 competitor without a Nexus 5 price. If this had the Nexus 5 price of about $300 or $329 unlocked, this would have skyrocketed. This would have been the perfect sweet spot. But they're just Amazon's just entering a, a space, a closed space where almost no one other than um, Apple and Samsung can make it. HTC is, still, HTC is still trying to make it up there and they're struggling their way but they're getting in there. I mean only three smartphone companies are at the top of the top where they can list their phone for $199 that, or $299 for a next variant. That's Apple, Samsung, and HTC. Amazon's just trying to make this a one, one trick wonder, um, a one shot, get it done and make it the best phone ever released and that's just not happening. I mean, these specs are nice, but you got to think about it. People don't want um, a skin over Android anymore. We already have to deal with TouchWiz. We already have to deal with HTC Sense. And it, although HTC Sense is very nice, but people just want stock Android. And if you're not going to give it to them, you're going to put your own um, type of skin on it. They're just going to decrease the value of it and make pe less people want to come to it. I mean, so they're putting their own skin on it as well as giving a, um, less um, of a processor, giving an 800 instead of an 801, and less RAM than a lot of other people. And then just, it's just not going to make it. I know for sure. $649 unlocked. You got to be out of here to get me to buy a phone like that. It's just crazy. I'd buy the Galaxy S5 or HTC One M8 because I know what it does, and it does way more um, than the Fire Phone. 
I keep trying to call it a Kindle Fire phone. It's just stupid, but I mean, Amazon makes Kindles, and that's probably the I'm used to saying Kindle, Amazon Kindle. So I gotta get used to saying Fire phone. But yeah, I mean, it looks like a great phone. I know it's gonna be fast, quick, and speedy. And um, the 3D graphics. Let's just touch on that because that's one of the biggest features that's out there. Think about it like this. It's like the iOS 7 parallax effect, the parallax effect, blah, I can't say it, parallax effect on steroids. I mean, they really put steroids into this effect. I mean, it has four cameras around each single corner that have a 72 degree viewing angle. So this will basically move without move, it'll basically move the, the display or the picture or the, the, the current screen what it's showing into the direction that you're looking at it and from which height and angle you're looking at that from. So it is really cool. The maps functionality looks really great as with the 3D feature. And it's not 3D 3D, but it's it's a cool feature. It's a cool little feature, but it's not gonna sell it. I mean, it's, a, it's great, but it's like iOS 7 parallax effect on steroids. I think they went a little out of bounds with this one. Um, with the four sensors, but I mean I, they want to do something right they got to do it right So I mean it's great for Amazon trying to take the initiative to go higher to go expand and become um, Something different try to do something out of um, out of what other smart manufacturers wanted to do They're taking the 3d route which proved to be fail to be a failure in the past couple phones So I give Amazon a big thumbs up for trying that and we're, we're just gonna see how it goes I'm pretty pessimistic about how it's gonna go I'm pretty sure it's not going to work, but maybe there'll be a fire too. I mean, we'll always see. I mean, Amazon just entered the smartphone market, and once you enter it, you kind of don't want to leave until you like literally fail like to the point where your, your company's going to go bankrupt. But Amazon's a big company. They have a lot of things under them, and I think that Firefly application is really sweet. You, just, you take a picture of anything, or you can basically finds whatever you need and makes it so much easier for you you can scan a phone number and start calling it and then you could take you could listen to an audio um like shazam feature on iosa you can have it listen and it'll tell you what the track is and you can purchase it you can scan a barcode easily from it and find that and purchase it on amazon.com so that's such a great feature ease of use but i'm not sure i mean you're already limiting to people that have amazon prime and you're going to limit, limit it even more to the people that ha are AT&T customers. And I just don't think this is the way it's going to go. I think it's not going to work. But we'll all see in the sales and how it goes. Um, I'll, I, I'm going to be pre-ordering this phone. Giving you guys an unboxing first look. Comparisons against some of the top phones like the Galaxy S5. Um, maybe the HTC One MA. I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you, hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment this video. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.